So hello and what is up yo guys, it's your boy Thanos of one channel here bringing you uh, today the Q&A video, the long waited Q&A video um, I'm really sorry for not uploading um, every single week like I said on my schedule but um, exams are pretty close, like um, I'm gonna give those uh, super uh, like important exams of my life um, in like uh, two weeks I guess, yeah two weeks and um, I really have no time for YouTubing right now. I mean, I tried to make this video today, um, so I guess you will see a video from me again like after two weeks. But then I'm thinking of making a summer marathon. Make sure in the comments down below, guys, to tell me if you want to see a summer marathon from me. So, without further ado, let's start with the video. George Paul. Are you hyped about the new Pokemon movie, I Choose You? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I didn't really know about the movie until you commented this down below. And hell yeah, I am hyped always for the original Kanto uh, Pokemon movies. Like, that's that's really awesome, that's really awesome, that's really dope. I really wanna go back to the nostalgic old days and, you know, check some Pokemon shit going on, dude. George Paul, Jaden or Tem? Um... I like the Jen's playstyle more due to fusions because um, Jen has more of a creativity that uh, a creativity style deck uh, rather than item which um, has like the whatever deck. But you know, I grew I grew up with the Atem deck and I really fell in love with his monsters. So I will have to choose Atem here. George Paul, what's your favorite old school Yu-Gi-Oh set? Um, Legend of Blue Eyes, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, like, they have the Trihorn Dragon, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Hitotsumi no Giant, um, <laughs> no Giant, you know, the Japanese shit. Um, they have some really amazing cards like there. Um, the Fire Grass, the Petit Dragons, Flame Ghosts, and whatnot. Like, I think the Regeki is in there, or the Dark Hole. I think, no, the Dark Hole is in there, not the Regeki one. Um, Exodia is there. Um, all, all the amazing shit. And Polymerization, you know, first time. The guy at the thunder, the guy at the warrior, you know, with uh, the curse of dragon, the fusion shit, you know, that uh, it was a real nostalgic set, set, you know, back in the day, and um, I really like it. Christine STR, do you like Super Mario Bros? Do you like Sims 4? Do you like Nintendo? Um, I like Mario Bros. Never really played the Sims 4 game, except for like one time in the PC where it was just released, I was like, yeah, whatever, let's try this game out. Uh, though other than that, I wasn't really hyped with the game, I mean, seems cool enough, I guess, it has really good graphics, but it's not my type of games, really much. And yeah, I love Nintendo, I used to play all the time, like, the Nintendo consoles, the DS, the Wii, um, and whatnot, the Game Boy Advance, uh, the 3DS, <laughs> good old days, I really like the Nintendo company. For this pad, do you even bang, bro? Dude, how dare you ask such a question, dude? It's a family friend channel. Shout outs to Chris. Uh, in case you're watching this video, most likely you are watching this video. Uh, anyways, how dare you? That's a family friend channel, and uh, I won't be available to answer this question right now. <laughs> Sorry. Andrew Manodakis, what's your opinion about mind specters and pendulums generally being thrown to the garbage can with a new summoning mechanic? Mad Specter fun here, love your vids, keep up the good work. Well, uh, first things first, thanks for your support, I appreciate it. Um, now about Mad Specters, um, yeah, the truth is that they will be thrown to the garbage can with a new Link Summoning mechanic. Um, and Pendulums generally, of course, Pendulums generally. You know what, it's really hard to Pendulum Summon 5 from the extra deck nowadays, now more with the Link Summoning mechanic. Even more for decks such as Magic Spectre, you know, where they tribute the monsters and they pretty much base off summoning back, summoning them back, you know, from the extra deck, and that's just gonna be really hard now. Uh, what I thought of the deck, you know, since I'm a really huge Magic Spectre fan as well, you know, I used to play the deck for like one year, I was like really into it. Um, anyways, what I think about it that you could play is um, 
Triple Phantom Reborn and uh, go back to the Demise build. Um, Demise plus um, Test of the Brethren plus Three Pendulum Reborn. It will be more of an anti meta solid version. And you can also go playing uh, Tier 3 Mother Spectre Gust for more summoning um, possible, as, as much summoning as possible. You know, yeah, I think that's uh, good. The deck though will be still dead, okay? Just uh, an obvious disclaimer. <laughs> It's me again. Yo, sup, boy? I'm Greek too, but in order to even get a chance to get this question in the video, I'll ask you about it in English. What is life? Oh my god, you, you mind struck my brain right now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. No, I don't know what is life, dude. I'm still living life, so I don't know what, what is life. I can't really answer to you. Life is like what, are, what I'm doing right now, making a video, I guess. That's a part of life. But uh, no, I can't. I can't get uh, mind fucked right now. Um, I will get a soul strike in my brain, and that's not good. <laughs> Brainwash asks, "When is a new tournament series sometime soon?" Well, uh, dear friend, actual tournament series is coming this summer. Um, so let's say now I did a reveal. So yeah, a new tournament series is coming uh, soon, and. It will be a real-life tournament series, not any Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro series or Dueling Network. Though, there will be also a, a, one or two like Dueling Network tournaments during the summertime, I'm sure about it. So stay tuned for them. Uh, Ketchup Bits asks, Favorite artist, artists? Um, you got to admit that you're one of the few channels that deserve to have the best in your titles. Keep producing quality content. Uh, first things first, thank you Ketchup Bits for your support. Stay tuned for my, uh, more videos coming up. Uh, I'm really glad you like my content and support what I am doing right now. So, um, favorite artist, um, XXXTentacion for sure. Like, he's a man, I really absolutely love his music. And uh, Keith Ape, Keith Ape. You know, these two guys are like the top on my brain. Um, of course, uh, other than that, I love some Greek rappers. Like, my favorite one is a Slogan. Um, and you know, go, considering the punk rock scene where I also like the music pretty much, um, I like uh, Our Last Night, certainly. Our Last Night is like one of my favorite groups, Linkin Park, Skillet, um, and Sum 41, The Legends, they're like actually the top uh, band in my brain that's Sum 41. But that's about it. No name. Are you gonna play another game? Yeah, dude, sure, like, summer's coming, um, there are infinite chances of me playing another game, and why not to stream it online? Sure, well, why not? L. Lolit, why do you play so bad with Pepe? I mean, you had a good teacher, what went wrong? Dude, screw you, mate, <laughs> I was like the best Pepe player in my locals. Um, uh, me and one more kid, you know, one more guy, I guess, we were playing the Pepe, de Pepe deck, like, at full power when it came out. And, uh, yeah, screw you, I was really good at Pepe. Whoa, dude. <laughs> and you're not my teacher, dude. I learned the deck by myself, so screw you once again. <laughs> With all my love, of course. Kristin STR, are you a fan of Kaiba or Yugi? Um, the question before was like Jaden or Tem. This time it's Kaiba or Yugi. Uh, I'm gonna go again with Yugi for the same reason as before. Like, um, not because Kaiba has a creative playstyle, but you know, I grew up with Yugi more than Kaiba, so I'm gonna have to go with Yugi. Status though, favorite character is Kaiba, so I got that uh, dual challenge stuff, you know, where we're like hardcore <laughs> gaming. <laughs> Tradesmaster asks, Are you playing Gold School? If so, what's your favorite deck? Provide a deck list as well if possible. Um, yes, I am playing old school at the moment, you know, I like old school, um, old school is what I grew up with and uh, I would certainly prefer it if one day the meta god vanished and old school came back, I would play it with real passion. Um, but other than that, uh, my favorite, favorite deck is a fire uh, equip spell deck, which is a really huge uh, bit monster deck. Um, and yeah, here's the deck list right now in the screen where you can see it, but I will also provide you with a link of the YDK file in the description you can put in your, in your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro uh, DEX folder and just go on and try the deck yourself. Tradesmaster once again asks, um, favorite anime character from Yu-Gi-Oh! DM series? Um, 
other than Yugi because I'm gonna get really lame for doing so. Um, I would go with um, I don't know like Bakura. I really like Bakura and his uh, playstyle of deck and his choices. So yeah, other than Yugi, I would choose Bakura. I really like Bakura. Anyways, Skur Nation Beats asks favorite music genre. Um, trap, rap, old school hip hop, punk rock, and I used to really love metalcore, now more, not so much, but you know, it's still a passion, metalcore, yeah, sure, metalcore, metalcore is considered one of the genres I like. Adventure time. How old are you? I am 17 at the moment, um, going, going close to 18, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I feel old. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> Chris Asino asks, Tell us a few things about your new profile photo on YouTube. Are you going to change it anytime soon? Uh, P.S. I like it very much. Well, um, my friend Chris Asino. Um, <laughs> I can't tell many things about my new profile photo. That's, that's actually me. Uh, so, you see my freaking face on YouTube. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I'm gonna change it, why not, if, in case you don't like it, but anyways, since you like it, I mean, it, it might as well stay this way for quite some time. <laughs> Chris Osino asks again, will you play Necros in real life ever again? Well, after two to three times of playing like Necros in my life, um, it's one of my favorite decks along with Magic Spectres, but I don't think so the deck can go on anymore, maybe in the Link Summoning Gera? It will get anything in ban, something in ban, you know, like a Sharit or maybe Bryo to, to semi. I guess it's semi limited yet, and a Unicorn to semi again. And the deck may work better than it does now, but other than that, I don't feel like I will. So, you guys, that was the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure to leave a like, a subscribe, and uh, comment down below. To tell me what are your thoughts in the video, what would you like from me to improve in the next videos, um, new video coming like in two weeks from now, um, maybe three in the worst scenario, because I'm really pressed right now and uh, I really have no time for the YouTubing uh, stuff due to the final exams which are really important for me, but you know summer is coming as I said in the intro, and hell yeah. Uh, except for me and status as well and Andrew maybe um, Really good and dope stuff. So see you soon guys. Bye